Hi Chemistry Kids, Miss Venable here bringing you a video lesson today and we're going to do a little lab experiment. So you will need a piece of chalk. You will need an electronic balance. You will need your periodic table and you will need the chemical formula for chalk which is CaCO3 and the chemical name of that chalk is calcium carbonate. Now, if you are remote learning, not to worry, I am going to do this lab with you and you just need to write down the data as I give it to you. If you are in-person instruction, you will be performing this activity with the class. So let's get started. The first thing I need to know is what's the weight of this chalk? Because what we're gonna do in this lab is leave some chalk on the sidewalk. And we want to figure out how many moles of chalk have I left on the sidewalk. In order to do that, we need to take some weight measurements. So we're going to weigh this whole piece of chalk before you write on the sidewalk. And then you're going to weigh this piece of chalk after you write on the sidewalk. And the difference between those weights should tell us the mass of the chalk that I left out on the sidewalk. And if I know the mass, you guys, and I know the chemical formula, you can always figure out how many moles. So today's objective is determine how many moles it takes to write your name. And you don't have to write your name. You can write anything you want. You just have to leave some chalk on the sidewalk. Okay, so step one, we have to weigh this chalk. So I'm going to turn on my balance. And it looks like the mass of my chalk initially is 14.10 grams. 14.10 grams. So we're here outside using up some of our calcium carbonate. And I want to figure out how much calcium carbonate am I leaving on this sidewalk? So I need to use at least as much so I can tell the difference in the weight. So if you guys are doing this in class, you can write your name or anything else you want, as long as it's polite. And if you're doing this remote, we'll go back inside in a minute and I'll weigh this chalk again. chalk I have left. Let's go back inside and weigh this and we want to figure out how much chalk did we use when we wrote I heart Kim. So we're back inside now and I see that I use quite a bit of chalk out on the sidewalk and my new mass is 7.46. This is the final mass. And now what we have to do is a little bit of calculation. So get your calculators ready. So have you figured out how many grams of chalk we left on the sidewalk yet? Let's take a look at how to calculate that. So if we want to know what is the mass of the calcium carbonate needed to write your name on the sidewalk, we just need to subtract my starting mass of my chalk and my ending mass of my chalk. And the difference between those tells me the mass of the chalk that I left on the sidewalk. So you're gonna figure that out next. And the final step is to convert this mass into moles. And we can use the molar mass to do that. So in this box, we're gonna write down the given mass in grams of calcium carbonate. And then we're gonna create a conversion factor to multiply by. I'm gonna need grams in the denominator so that it will cancel the grams of my mass and I'm gonna need moles in the numerator because that's what I wanna to convert to. Now, how do we fill in these conversion factor values? Well, we know that one mole of any substance always have a mass that's equivalent to its molar mass. So in the top, you're gonna to put one mole, and in the bottom, you're gonna put molar mass because those are equivalent quantities. 
So really all you're doing is taking the mass of your calcium carbonate and multiplying it by a factor of one. Now that doesn't change the measurement that you took, it just converts the units from grams to moles. Okay, so let's talk about this molar mass. How do you figure out how many grams there are in one mole of calcium carbonate? Well, that comes from our periodic table. So you'll need your calculator and you could just add up the mass of one calcium, which would be 40.08, one carbon, which would be 12.01, and three oxygens, which would be three times 16. So on your calculator, add all of those masses together, and that is the molar mass that you put in the bottom of your conversion factor. Okay, then you can cancel your grams, and you will have converted it into moles. So use your calculator, multiply across the top, divide by the bottom, and remember to round your final answer, and every single box has to have the quantity, the unit, and the substance. Thanks for joining me for the video lab of Moles of Chalk. This is Miss Finnable. Have a great day.